to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What is up, everybody? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to Fitness Friday. I've been wanting to. <laughs> it's so awkward. I've been wanting to bring back Fitness Friday. I always enjoy putting these fitness and nutrition and health related videos out. But now that we're in the house, we're out of the RV, I actually have space to kind of like move around, get my thoughts out and, and film. So today's video, as you saw in the title and the thumbnail, I wanted to go over what I've been doing for the past 100 days. <laughs> Is this something a little crazy? But I am pumped, one, that it's done, and two, I'm excited to share it with you guys because I think it was a really interesting experience and something to I, I just, just be proud of. So what I did for the last 100 days is I embarked on a crazy challenge where I did 100 pull-ups every single day for 100 consecutive days. That equates to 10,000 pull-ups in the last three and some change months. That's a lot of pull-ups. So if you know me, pull-ups are kind of my jam. I'm, I've been working on them for almost 10 years now. That's a long time to work on one specific movement. And so I, I usually have people on uh, social media, on Instagram, on TikTok, ask me how they can get to do pull-ups. And my first and most important piece of advice is to do them often and to work on them often. I mean, it took me a full year to get my first pull up. So that disclaimer out of the way, the reason why we did this challenge is because um, somebody on social media, his name is James, uh, he's known as the Iron Cowboy. And what he did is he literally set a record yesterday and made history by doing 100 full distance triathlons in 100 consecutive days. So every single day, he swam, he biked, and he ran. And I don't know the full distance. I mean, it's it's crazy amounts of miles and miles. He would wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. and start swimming and then immediately hop on the bike and then finish the day with a run. And he did that for 100 consecutive days. Now, he's a part of First Form, and that's the brand that I'm an affiliate with. And somebody at headquarters had the crazy idea to do a pull-up challenge in support of his incredible feat of strength. And one of the reasons why he did that was to raise awareness and raise money for a charity called Operation Underground Railroad. I'll leave the information in the description below if y'all want to go check it out. I'll leave his social media links. As far as I know, they're doing a documentary on the whole thing. And so that'll be something really, really neat to keep an eye out for. But so somebody at First Form Headquarters had an idea to basically in solidarity for us to do a challenge alongside him. And she had been wanting to work on her pull-ups, so she said, let's do 100 pull-ups a day. And I'm like, of course, I'm in. Like, pull-ups, sign me up. So, I mean, it was it was on your, it was an official challenge. It was just kind of like on your own merit. And we started. So on March 1st was day one. And we were actually staying with my parents in Round Rock at the time. And so I had my pull-up, the door frame pull-up thing, which is now in our storage room, and started doing pull-ups. And I'm not gonna lie, for the first like 20 days, I was like, this is crazy. Why did I say yes? But once I start something, I have to finish it. And so day after day after day, I kept doing pull-ups. Now I will let you know that for the first about 20 days or so, I had to modify about half of the reps. So that means the first 50 reps or so, one, I split them up into sets of 10. Um, so I was doing them neutral grip and after about half of them, I had to start doing either jumping pull-ups where you start on the bar and you jump to the top or assisted pull-ups. I had a stool on the ground and I would set my feet on it and kind of push down to aid in the pulling up movement. Um, so they weren't all 100% body weight pull-ups yet, but after about day 20, to my surprise, my pull-ups started to get stronger. And at that point, what about a fifth of the way through, I started doing all 
completely unassisted pull-ups. And again, I broke them up into anywhere from sets of six to eight to 10, depending on the day. Cause some days I couldn't do a full set of 10 without taking a break. So I would do sets of six or eight, but day after day after day, continued to do them on days that I didn't go to the gym. I was either doing them here or before we moved in the house, I was doing them on the rings outside. It was crazy, <laughs> but I did it. And so what is, what the coolest part about this is one, I thought that I was going to have to quit. I thought that I was going, my, my arms were going to fall off. I don't know, but I'm already used to a high volume of pull-ups. I usually incorporate them into most of my strength training days, five or six days a week. So I'm not coming from not doing pull-ups ever to doing 100 pull-ups a day. So the volume that I was doing pull-ups was already high. I just had to stay dedicated to a consistent number every single day to get that 100. And the, the hardest part about it was, it's kind of like the 75 hard challenge. The hardest part wasn't getting them in most days. It was the days that I wasn't going to the gym and I didn't want to get up and either go outside or do pull-ups in the doorway. And so it was like once or twice a week, I was like, man, I do not want to do them today, but I did them. And, and I would kind of just break them up into the day. Like I would go and do 10 or 20 here, 10 or 20 there, and then finish out the day with the last few. And I mean, after about day 50 or 60, it was just a normal part of the day. And whenever I went into the gym, I would just superset them into my exercises. So I would do squats and then I would do a set of pull-ups and then I'd do my next set of squats and then I'd do my next set of pull-ups and so on. And so throughout my whole workout, I'd be on and off the pull-up bar doing pull-ups. And so the coolest part about it, and I'll put the um, like before and afters in here for you to see, are was the strength that I gained in my pull-ups themselves. Again, I was fully prepared for them to suck and for my pull-ups to, but I committed to it. We were doing this in support of James. And so I was going to get them done, but they got stronger. And it was so cool because at the very end, as you can see, my last set of 10 pull-ups, the last 10 of the whole 100 days was stronger than my first set of 10 when I started like significantly stronger. Like I was running circles around my previous pull-ups. They were so much stronger. So that was really cool. And after I finished that last set in the gym, I was like, that's it, I'm done. I did my little like celebra quiet celebration by myself because nobody else knew what I was doing. Now I will say, do I recommend this for other people? Unless you're doing pull-ups really, really often, or you're prepared to modify most of your pull-ups, I would not necessarily recommend starting out with 100 pull-ups a day for 100 days. If you wanna get better at pull-ups, I would recommend increasing the amount of volume that you work on them every week. So if you work on them maybe once a week, work on them three times a week. Um, and eventually down the road, if you're ready for that massive challenge, I'd say go for it. But um, if you're somebody that already works on a good amount of pull-ups throughout the week, if you already have a high volume of back work throughout the week, I say give it a try. Listen to your body, one. Um, know your limitations, don't hurt yourself, make sure to warm up, all of those very important disclaimers. But if you try it, let me know. I would love to follow along with your journey and how it goes but it was, it was just so cool. And to be able to do it alongside a few other people on social media, we were encouraging each other. And then to see James doing his thing with his 100 triathlons per day, on the days that I was struggling, I was like, James is waking up and doing a triathlon today after doing one yesterday and the day before and the day before. I'm like, you can do 100 pull-ups. <laughs> That's not a big deal compared to what he's doing. And it was just neat to follow along on his social media. You can go back on his Instagram and check out the last, I mean, he actually did, he did a victory lap on day 101 and did one more. But people, they encourage people to come and do it with him. So people would show up in the morning at like 5 a.m. and they would do the swimming with him. And then people would show up and do the biking portion with him. And then people would show up and run with him at the end of the day. And it was just really neat to see that support and that camaraderie come together 
to help him, but also to raise awareness for the cause that he is fighting for essentially and, and running and biking and swimming for. So that was really, really neat. So I definitely gained more than just back strength from the pull-up challenge, but it was really fun. And to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready to do it again. <laughs> um, I was talking with a friend that did it and he was like, man, we should just do this, you know, two or three times a year. No, I mean, I guess three times a year that'd give us about 65 days off. So he's like, yeah, we should just take a, you know, a couple weeks off and then get back after it. And I'm like, why not? Because I'm at this point, like my upper body has gotten so much stronger. It can definitely handle the volume because it's doing it just fine now. I just make sure to get enough sleep, drink plenty of water, get my micronutrients in. Uh, I take um, additional omega-3 fish oil supplements to help with joint health so that I'm not like blowing any tendons out and to keep all of this feeling nice and good. Making sure to foam roll because this area does get pretty tight now. I'd do it again. So if anybody is interested, if anybody is crazy enough to want to take on this challenge, comment below and um, drop your Instagram below because I will add you and keep you updated on when the next challenge starts. But we might make it like an annual thing at least once a year because it was fun and it was cool cheering each other on and seeing the changes physically, mentally that happened within that time. So if you want to gain strength in your pull-ups, um, and again, like I mentioned, you already do a high volume of pull-up or back work um, in your program. If not, I mean, feel free to scale it. You could do 25 pull-ups a day with us. You could do 10 pull-ups a day with us. You could do five, literally anything. It's basically just committing to say, I'm doing this for the next 100 days and I'm gonna see how I feel and see what happens. And that's what it's all about. And so, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. 100 pull-ups a day for 100 days, 10,000 pull-ups. That's really cool. So I'm proud. Um, and I'm excited for the next, uh, whatever challenge I decide to do. What do you guys think? Are there any challenges that I should try? Fitness challenges? It, let me know if you've got videos, leave them in the links below. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you found it entertaining and or helpful or informative or encouraging. If you did, make sure and hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I would love to chat um, and introduce ourselves. So leave us a comment below, subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna start doing more Fitness Friday videos. They will be workouts. I've got some um, basic beginner workouts that I want to include in the channel. Cooking and recipe videos, nutrition tips, possibly some full day of eatings again, now that we have space and we can cook. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful Friday, wonderful weekend. Um, little side note, I am going to St. Louis next week. What? Like this is my first time Traveling away from Eva since she was born for more than like three or four hours. Um, and I'm gonna be gone essentially five days. So I'm nervous, but I'm gonna vlog it. So I'm gonna show y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited though because I'm actually going to First Form headquarters. So that's gonna be a pretty big deal. Uh, okay, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. Have fun out there and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.